In this video, we're going to consider the relationship between the bending moment and shear forces. Again, we're going to consider a portion of a beam subject to a distributed load, as we can see in the diagram. And then we're going to zoom in, in particular, on one very small portion of the beam. And we'll scroll down. And on this very small portion of the beam, we draw the internal forces that this beam is going to be be subjected to and so on the left hand side of the beam we have a moment going clockwise and with the variation of the forces over the beam we can have a moment m plus a small increment dm going anti-clockwise likewise with the shear forces we have shear force v pointing upwards on the left hand side and shear force v plus dv pointing downwards on the right hand side and we're going to consider a general loading w acting over it and we're actually going to take the average value of this loading across the small portion dx of the b and what we're going to do next is we're going to take moments about this bottom left hand corner o Taking moments about this little point O in the bottom left hand corner of our differential element. So on this left hand side we have M. The next term we can see we have a W, so this load going across the top. And to get this from an, a load intensity to a force, we're going to have to multiply by the width that this is multiplied over. And then the lever arm to where the centroid of this load is, is dx upon two. Now both of these are going clockwise, so we're choosing to call those negative in this case. Getting to the right hand side of the portion, we have this v plus dv term. I'm going to keep this in brackets, v plus dv. And the lever arm 2.0, is the width of the element dx and again this is going in a clockwise motion so we choose to call it negative and finally we have this m plus dm term on that is going in an anti-clockwise direction so plus m plus dm and for equilibrium this all needs to be equal to zero so we're going to do some rearranging of this. We can see straight away that we have a minus m and an m, so that can be removed. If we look at this term here, we have a small number dx multiplied by dx again. So we'll have a dx squared. So a small number times a very small number is very small. So we need to remove this. And we'll expand this term. This term here we have a, a V dx and a dV times dx. And again, this is a small number multiplied by a small number, so we're going to neglect this. Rearranging the terms that we have left over now. So we have a minus V D x plus dm equals to zero and what i'll do now is take the dm to the right hand side so i get minus v dx equals minus dm and i can multiply both sides by minus one to make it positive and finally, I'm going to take the dx underneath to the right-hand side. So finally, I can write with v equals dm by dx, capital M there. And this is quite a fundamental relationship. It's worth... Or we could alternatively say that if we integrate both sides now, that... The integral of the shear force over distance equals the moment. 
finally then we can reinvoke a relationship that we found earlier between the loading and the shear force that statement was w the load pointing down is minus dv by dx with a minus because the load is pointing downwards and using this statement and this statement together we can then write that minus w equals d2m by dx squared so we have a consistent line through from the loading to the shear force and to the bending moment and again this is a fundamental formula finally we're going to go back to our relationship between shear force and bending moment so v equals dm by dx and for mathematics we know if we take the differential of some function then we can find out whether that we use that differential to find out whether something is a maxima or a minimum by equating that differential to zero so we can find it very useful to say when dm by dx is zero where we have a maximum or minimum bending moment this will always happen at the point where the shear force is also zero and we can use this as a double check for our calculations as well